That's actually toast. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Roots Refuge Farm. I'm going out with these kiddos to do my morning chores. I'm exhausted. We've had family in town for days, which has meant staying up way too late every night. And just, it's been so fun, but I am exhausted. <laughs> Today the kids really wanted to help with chores. My nieces are here and they really wanted to be on a video and uh, so Yeah, that's what we're doing The the barn cats are getting so much attention this week. Hey Zuzu. Did you get some snuggles? Mom, is Katie like one of our best friends? Yeah, she is. And why don't you introduce your cousins to our friends on YouTube? Okay, this is YouTube <laughs> Ava. Ava. Ava, meet YouTube. Jaden, meet YouTube. YouTube, meet YouTube. Ava and Jaden, who are here visiting Jeremiah's brother, who is 18 months older than him, Josh, is their dad. And um, they're about both of them. Benjamin was born in between the two. So Ava was born, then Ben, then Jaden. So it's a Ben sandwich here, really. <laughs> I'm gonna close this up and leave the goats in their stall because dad is going to move some calves and he told me he didn't want goats complicating it. So I'll keep them in their room. One horse that has a brand on it. Hey Dusty boy. Dusty's still so small he can get out through the gate and he goes and eats the grass in the front yard, which doesn't bother anybody, it's fine. Yeah, but guys, he the grass So the first thing we do is come into the milk room and get some hot water and our bucket to milk into. Lights down here. All right, so here's our milk pail. I'm gonna do that on this. You gonna hold that? Just stop. Stop. You're gonna do some milking? You wanna milk? You wanna try it? The easiest one is probably. Claire is the easiest. All right, so let me let this water clean up first. So the water's in there more. Jar lids, just look how we have a lot of jars. Why do you have so many jars? We have so many jars because people get milk from us, and so we have extra jars, so we all always have something to put the milk in. Sometimes we have to message everybody and say, hey, where's my jar? Okay, just like that. We have so many lids because jars break, but lids don't, so. We have the lids of all the jars we've had, but only the jars that have survived. All right, oh, we gotta give them their hay. I do. Why does the needle always be in that hay bed? Because <laughs> he knows I'm about to drop hay into it. All right, here, step out of the way so she can walk to the station. There we go. Does she know what to do? Thank you, Ben. Ben, you want to wash her off? Wait, I, huh? you they can wash her off. Mm -hmm. We'll show them how. Yeah, you do the first and you'll do the other. <laughs> Goats are pretty clean animals. The cows, you have to hose off because they'll come up with mud and poop all over their udder. Oh, yeah. That would be nasty. So, have you ever seen, have you ever taken a rubber glove, like a doctor glove, and filled it up with water? <laughs> it's like a balloon. And if you squeeze one of the fingers, if you just squeeze it, the water will go back up into the hand. That's how this is. If you just squeeze this, nothing will come out. So what you have to do is you have to trap the milk in this teat. Like you would trap the water in that and then squeeze it so it'll come out. Okay? Oh, God, yeah. So... So I'm very used to doing this. I've done it for a long time. So I do it fast. But all I'm doing is trapping the milk and then squeezing it out. Trapping the milk and squeezing it out. She's kind of harder because her udder is lopsided. But she will let you try. So Virgie is my steppiest goat. And so she was not really feeling being milked by anybody. So we will wait for Claire for our lesson. Claire's the nicest goat to milk, don't you think, Ben? Claire's Ben's favorite goat to milk. Are you going to switch them out? Show the girls how you do that? Yeah? Okay. So 
So, y'all been playing on the farm all weekend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's been the best part? Treehouse. Uh, tree house. Playing in the treehouse? Yeah. And my favorite part was seeing the horses. Yes, seeing the horses? The horses are fun. Yeah, I bet they liked seeing you. They love attention. I heard they tried to nibble on some of that blonde hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine was the really Ben, did you have a theory about that? Why do you think they tried to nibble on the blonde hair? Ah, uh, <laughs> Ben. Ben theorized that the horses mistook the girl's hair for straw. Or hay, excuse me. Um, I'm glad y'all are having fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Is she done, Ben? Yeah. All right, you gonna switch her out? All right, girls, come step over here, and Ben will Ben will trade Virgie out for Claire. There you go. Yep. All right. Good job. Good job. I want Claire. Claire knows what to do. All right. So now we need to put her head in. Lock her in and give Ben. You want to give her her food? She has a little. I think it's a thrombosis. I think it's a vein that's swollen on her udder. She doesn't act like it hurts her, but I've been watching it. It's been there for two months, so I don't think that's a problem. So we squirt one squirt out of each Why teeth. Why me? <laughs> we squirt one squirt out of each teeth to make sure that it's all clean and there's no contamination going into the milk. He shot it directly at you because he's your boy cousin and that's what boy cousins do. <laughs> Ben's rude. Ben's rude. That is true. YouTube, Ben's rude. YouTube, Ben's rude. You telling on him? Please <laughs> don't make me. Good job, Ben. You want to let the girls go now? And then you're going to pinch it and then squeeze it through. So many flies. So look, I pinch it, squeeze. Yeah, I just want to squeeze that at you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. We'll have to go. <laughs> You can do it. Just try. It takes a minute. Even grown-ups have a hard time and it takes a minute for them to get used to it. You just got to get your hands on there and feel what works and what doesn't work. Look, you got it. It's better than most people do. <laughs> that is true. You want to sit down there and get comfortable? I'll do the other one. Or me, so. That has like the less milk. How do you milk the cows? Very similar to this. Yeah, it's I just that their, their bodies work a little bit differently. They're actually a little easier to milk, to get the milk out, but they're, they have a lot more milk, so it makes your arms tired. Fine. Benny, yeah. do you like to share the farm with your cousins? Yeah. Yeah. You like showing them your chores? Can I start, yeah. the, can I start the next one? Like, and why are they so big? They're different colors because usually it's just their skin, so like... The goats who have black skin have... Ooh, it's behind her. Yeah, she, her, her udder shape's a little different than the Wait, others. How do you hold it again, Ben? Like, Just like that. that. That's good. You're doing a great job, yeah. Ava. I got squirted by my own self. You're just a regular oh, farm girl. It's okay. I am. Okay. Pour it very slowly because it'll splash out of there. I poured milk all over the counter the other day. I'll hold this down. Very good. Well, good job, Jay. A lot of milk here. Yeah. All right. Thanks for y'all's help. You did a great job. I'm ready to go on the side by side. Yeah. We'll go back in and take the milk in and then we'll go look at the garden. Hey y'all. So it's a couple days after the first part of this video was shot. I just walked outside and it's very muggy. So my camera's fogging up again. So we had an incredible week with family. Oh, look here. Look at my... Uh, flower bed squash this is a volunteer squash well a pumpkin which is a squash but there's one there's like several pretty good sized pumpkins growing in my flower beds Look. come over here some of them are starting to turn isn't that silly free food the sky is slightly cotton candy-ish right now. It's very nice. I just drove up here to the garden to turn the sprinkler off and I got distracted. Imagine that. This is a volunteer pepper that came up in this compost that we used to build these piles up. And I'm not sure what it is. I think it's maybe a habanero or a habanada. We'll just have to wait and see. Give it some more time. 
these piles ended up with quite a few volunteers and these volunteer pepper plants look way better than any of the pepper plants that I planted which that's pretty that's pretty normal with volunteers you know volunteers are resilient plants because they're acclimated they're the seeds that stayed and were able to live uh, through the winter through being composted through all that stuff and then they grew so you get really healthy plants with volunteers which is why I really like to let them grow and I like to save seeds whenever I can from volunteers because I know I'm gonna have healthier plants look at this this is very exciting to me this is one of my little fig trees it's got some fruit on it figs are my favorite thing to eat of all things like that's actually my favorite food is fresh figs and you can't buying them at the store is just completely not the same as being able to eat them fresh and I'm very excited my sister-in-law in Arkansas had a massive fig tree that I would go and harvest just gobs of figs out of and I've missed that very badly uh, living so far away this sprinkler's been running on this area for a little while we had weeks of no rain and then we got a ton of rain and then we haven't had any since then all week but i'm just running the sprinklers my poor fruit a lot of it is split when we got all that rain all right i'm gonna take a seat as the sun sets there's not much light here family just all left this week tuesday and wednesday um jeremiah's older sister beth who everyone calls sis um all the, all of her siblings call her sis <laughs> And so all the kids call her aunt sis, <laughs> but she's still here in town. She, I think she's leaving tomorrow. It was a fast and furious week. Um, I told Maya yesterday, I feel like the last two weeks has been the longest day of my life <laughs> because it was two weeks from yesterday that I got up in the morning and flew to Idaho which is mind-boggling to me uh, you know how sometimes you have those weeks of your life where you just really packed in the stuff to do and you get way out of your normal schedule and just completely lose any bearing of, of normalcy that's what happened but it was so rich and so worth it i was really happy to be able to show the girls how to milk and do a video with them they're so precious and so fun and i love having my nieces around because we don't get a lot of time with little girls around here so it's really sweet to get to share my love of the farm with them because when i was their age a farm was literally just the i mean my preferred place of being would have been on a farm when i was that age we celebrated nana's 90th birthday kk's 30th birthday i actually have a lot of family birthdays this week um, and just spent a ton of great time together which is awesome you know maya's the third of nine kids the family is just spread all over the country so being able to get everybody together is always really a treat and i really didn't shoot a lot of video or do very much by way of work because when everybody comes into town you know i typically try to put work down as much as possible i mean you still have to take care of the farm but um try to be as present as possible so now we just get back into our somewhat groove of normal i mean i feel like the summer is sort of just like hang on for the ride um there's just so much to do and so much to keep up with and whenever you have a lot of kids and a farm and a lot of things going on business things and all of that i feel like some things do kind of just end up falling through the cracks and i try to just juggle it and make sure that it's not the important things so i've really um i'm really looking forward to spending some really quality time with the boys this next few weeks and we're now at the point of counting down jackson moves into his dorm in like one month which is crazy uh, so we've got some fun stuff planned with our family and you know we'll get back into the swing of making some videos and stuff Maya and I I think we're gonna sit down and do a, a like catch-up chat because some of our plans have changed here recently and it's all good stuff but we'll probably shoot that video here in the next couple of days uh, weather permitting where we can sit down and chat with y'all about some of the upcoming things around here but I just wanted to wrap this video up and uh, say thank you for hanging out with us today the other day all the days you do I bless you until next time